Hello chemistry students and welcome to Fun with Baking Soda. Uh, we're going to use the decomposition of baking soda today in order to study not only a little bit of stoichiometry, which if you remember is the study of the relationships between reactants and products in a chemical reaction, but we're also going to learn to calculate um, the theoretical yield of a reaction and finally the um, percent error, um, which is basically a comparison between what you thought you should get and what you actually got in the lab. And that can be affected by various errors that are made in the lab. So we're going to talk about all of this today. It's going to be a little bit of review and a little bit of new stuff. So let's jump right in. So we're going to use baking soda, and as it says on your paper here, it's an ingredient you add to cake batters, cookie doughs, and as it decomposes in the heat of the oven, it produces a gas, carbon dioxide, which causes the dough to rise as the carbon dioxide um, evaporates out of the batter. So let's take a look at how this happens. Um, so my um, formula for baking soda is actually sodium bicarbonate, which is NaHCO3. And this is a decomposition reaction, so there's my one reactant, and it's going to form carbon dioxide and water and sodium carbonate. As it stands, my reaction is not balanced. Um, I can see right at the beginning that I have two sodiums on my product side and I only have one sodium on my reactant side, so I'm going to go ahead and put a two in front of the compound uh, that contains sodium on my reactant side and now we can see we've got two sodiums and uh, two sodiums on the reactant side, two on the product side, two hydrogens on each side, two carbons on each side, and we have six oxygens. Um, we have two here in carbon dioxide, we have one here in water, and then we have three in sodium carbonate and so that all makes six. So we now have a balanced equation. So numbers 1, 2, and 3 should be kind of old news to you. Study the equation above. Let's look at number 1. How many moles of sodium carbonate do you produce when you decompose two moles of sodium bicarbonate? So if we look at our, exam at our e chemical equation, we can get the answer. Um, if we decompose two moles of sodium bicarbonate, which is exactly what we're doing, all we have to do is look at how much sodium carbonate we get. Since we don't have a coefficient in front of the uh, sodium carbonate, that means that we can make only one mole of sodium carbonate. And if uh, you aren't if you don't see the logic there, then you can always go right ahead and do a little bit of math. So remember that when you're changing from moles of reactants to moles of something else, you always start with what you're given, which is two moles of sodium bicarbonate. And we're going to multiply that by uh, what we have in our equation. Remember that we're going to put moles of sodium bicarbonate on the bottom so that we can cancel it out. And where did I get this two from? Well, I got it here from my equation. And now we put what we're looking for at the top. We want to know how many moles of sodium carbonate we're going to produce. So we are going to, again, use the equation, since I don't have a number in front of sodium carbonate, I put a 1 there, and I write that down like so. And my moles of sodium bicarbonate cancel, and now I multiply 2 times 1 
and I get 2 and I'm going to divide that by 2 and guess what? I got exactly the answer I thought we were going to get at the very beginning. So that gives you two ways to potentially solve this problem. All right, so now let's look at number two. If you had 10 moles of sodium bicarbonate, how many moles of sodium carbonate would you produce? Well, once again, let's start with what we're given. 10 moles of sodium bicarbonate. And now we're going to use the mole ratio from the equation. So I put moles of sodium carbonate at the bottom so that I'm able to cancel it out. And looking at my equation, I've already got it circled in purple, but I have two moles of sodium bicarbonate according to my equation. So I going to put my two here and I'm going to put what I want on top. I want to know how many moles of sodium carbonate I'm going to make. And again, if we look at our equation, I have no number next to sodium carbonate. So uh, that means that I have one mole there. So my mole ratio of sodium carbonate to sodium bicarbonate is one to two, and that's exactly what I have here in this fraction. So to solve, I'm going to first cancel out my units, and now I'm going to multiply 10 times one across the top, and then divide it by two, and that gives me five moles of sodium carbonate. Finally, if I wanted to make seven moles of sodium carbonate, how many moles of sodium bicarbonate do I need to start with? To solve this, you follow the same pattern. Once again, you begin with what you're given, and we are given seven moles of sodium carbonate. So let's write that here. And I will multiply that by my mole ratio. I have one mole of sodium carbonate according to my equation up here and I have two moles of sodium bicarbonate which is what I have on my reactant side and I knew to put two moles of sodium bicarbonate at the top because that is exactly what I'm looking for in the problem all right, now let's start by canceling out our units here. And now I'm going to multiply across. So I multiply seven times two gives me 14 divided by one. And that means that if I begin with, if I want, excuse me, seven moles of sodium carbonate, then uh, I, am able to, um, uh, then I need to start with 14 moles of sodium bicarbonate. And looking back at my equation, that should make sense because my coefficient for sodium bicarbonate is two and my coefficient for sodium carbonate is one, and one is half of two. So however, whatever quantity of sodium bicarbonate I begin with, I should end up with half of that amount of sodium carbonate. And that's exactly what happened in number three. We uh, wanted to make seven moles of sodium carbonate, so we had to double the seven in order to figure out how much sodium bicarbonate to start with. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video, uh, and then you should go on to part two as we decompose some sodium bicarbonate in order to make some sodium carbonate.